Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It's Hitman23. Um, as a great John Mangini says, you know what one of my favorite things to do is? Well, one of my favorite things to do is go to a baseball card show and meet up with a YouTuber. That's definitely awesome. That's definitely at the top of my list. Um, yesterday, I got to um, meet up with Orlando, a collector's dream, at the uh, Fort Lauderdale card show. It's a show they run every month um, over there in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, we hung out for about an hour or two and just walked the floor. We talked. He got to meet my, my wife and my son and Bowie. Uh, it was really cool. And uh, we just, you know, talked baseball cards and life and just hung out. It was really, really, really good time. And um, he, he laid this on me when we were there. And I, I, was, uh, I was shocked and surprised. And, um, you know, I didn't expect that from him. So... Orlando, I, pre I appreciate very much. So I'll show you what Orlando got me. I haven't, I haven't even opened it yet. So um, he said it's no big deal, but it's always a big deal when somebody gives you something because it means they thought of you. And so to me, that's a big deal, no matter what it is. So um, he gave me his, um, his business card right there. That, that, might, that might gem out if I, if I submit that for grading. That might definitely gem out. So I might have to do that. Um, oh, it looks like he, uh, oh, okay, cool, cool. He hooked me up with some Madonna baseball. Really, go for it. I mean, right, right? Go figure. What, uh, what do I want with Donnie baseball cards, right? So this is a 1986 um, Topps League Leaders. Um, they did, a, they did a, uh, a separate set starting in 86 of these League Leaders, and I think they did them up until... I think up and through the 1990 season. Here are these mini style cards and kind of kind of cool. Um, so there's that. There is the 94. Uh, this is 94, right? Yeah, 94 Upper Deck Electric Diamond Don Mattingly. So that's very cool. And I love any time I can get a Don Mattingly card with him fielding on one side and kind of in the uh, not really a batting cage is there a batting cage in that one yeah, it's not in the batting cage but he's goofing around with it looks like I can't tell who he's goofing around with there but just a cool you know kind of candidish or maybe not candid photo on the back so that's very cool and we got a 94 leaf and Don is getting brushed back there looks like he's getting brushed back so cool photo and then a 92 leaf. Did I say that was a 90? Did I say that was a 94 leaf? It is a 94 leaf. That is 94. <laughs> and this is a 93 leaf. Whoa, guys. And there's the back of this one. Another nice photo on the back. And a 91 Fleer Ultra. I'm not sure who the cameo is in that card. This is the first year of Fleer Ultra. Of course, the uh, late 80s and early 90s birthed all those um, higher end sets that kind of kicked off with the 89 Upper Deck and then kind of, you know, all the other manufacturers followed suit uh, the years following that. So, and this is a, a 92 Bowman. Donnie feeling with the batting helmet. Kicking up some dirt right there. Very cool. The 91 Studio. And a rare one of Donnie without the mustache. In his playing days. Now he doesn't sport the mustache. But in the playing days, he pretty much sported the mustache. Really after his, you know, he, I think he... In, in 83, when he came up with the Yankees. And maybe early 84, he didn't have a mustache. But from then on out, he had that power stash going. A uh, really nice one of uh, Ricky and Donnie on the 87 Record Breaker. And then the 88 All-Star card. 89 All-Star card. Uh, this is OPG Premier. I think this is 91 OPG Premier. And on the back, we got Donnie without the mustache and the mullet. That was when he was getting in trouble with George Steinbrenner with the hair. Love it. I think one of Donnie's greatest cards, the 87 Tops. I just love that card. Love that stance. Just a really nice card. And then there's the 87 
all-star card. This is with this is without the trademark up here. There's a version with a trademark, little TM mark, and one without. This is the one without. And then, of course, we've got the Diamond Kings, the 89 Donruss Diamond Kings. So Don, Donnie was in the Diamond Kings in 85, Donruss, and again in 89. And this is the 89, um, I think this is a Donruss, um, I think it's a Stars. I believe this is called Stars or All Stars or for something. I forget, but that's the 89 flavor. Oh, and then we got some Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. The uh, 86 uh, Major League Leaders. Ooh, this is a nice one. 88 box bottom. That's very nice. Then the 88 base. Then the 87 Donruss. And then the 80, uh, I'm sorry, the 92 Donruss Highlights. And then the 87 Tops Base. I like that. I like that one too. And then the 90, um, the 91 Leaf. What a, what a really nice set that is. 91 leaf and then we got the um, this is the 91 stadium club the first foray of tops into the stadium club arena their higher end product and then we got the beautiful big head from I think this is 1991 score got the big head and then we got him sliding another scorecard he gets 91 score as well or maybe 90 can't tell from the from the front the back that's 1990 and then we got the um, dual exposure or triple exposure 1991 upper deck yeah upper deck you know came in strong in 1989 um, I didn't buy any upper deck in 89 I don't even remember honestly seeing upper deck cards in 89 in the store I maybe I just wasn't paying attention at the time um, I don't know it was a while ago I definitely bought the hell out of tops and you know, and Donruss and stuff like that. Um, and I probably, did, I probably stayed away from Upper Deck just because it was, um, it was probably just expensive at the time. You know, they were like over a dollar a pack, and I just didn't get any. Um, but of course, in retrospect, I you know I like the '89 Upper Deck set. Um, of course, it's got the Griffey rookie, but I think they really mailed it in the following two years in 1990 and '91. They really just basically regurgitated the basic same design as an 89 it added a little differences but um not much even in 92 they added the team name on the front and a little more, a little bit more color not much um but then they came out in 93 with that amazing set they really just redeemed themselves and in my humble opinion made one of the best design sets ever the 90 1993 upper deck and i've said that ad nauseum in my videos I you, you can find that in a lot of my videos I will definitely um, die on the hill of 93 upper deck being one of the greatest sets ever made in terms of design photographs everything um, so there we go my little spiel on that but um, those early upper deck sets were a little eh, you know except for the 89 because it was the first one and you know they kind of kicked that whole thing off and then last but not least, we got the uh, 1986 Sports Flicks. I remember these were like so cool when they came out. I think my, my parents got me the set for Christmas or something, which I still have. But um, that was cool because you had that, you know, that magic motion and all that good stuff. So um, I thank you very much, Orlando. That was awesome. Um, thank you for thinking of me. And um, then I'll show you my pickups when I when I got at the uh, at the show. Again, I didn't really pick up a lot at this show. Um, it was almost um, a, not really a super. Uh, yeah, I guess it was last minute. I, I was kind of midweek. I was like, oh, there's a show in Fort Lauderdale. We were going across anyway to see my in-laws. And I'm like, if I'm going to go across, I'm going to a show. And I just reached out to Orlando and said, hey man, I'd love to meet up here at the show. And he said, sure thing. And we did. Um, and that's really what, that's really why I went, I mean, really to meet up with him and just, you know, hang out for a bit. Um, but it was nice to make a few pickups. I, I didn't get anything, you know, out of this world crazy. I didn't spend a ton of money. I picked up some stuff for sets and some rando stuff like I like to pick up. Um, I did some modern and some vintage, so I'll show you that real quick. 
and then I'll uh, move you guys on to the rest of your day. Uh, so this is the um, the uh, baseball flashbacks from the 2022 um, the 2022 um, heritage. So you got the Dave Winfield flashback there, and then we got the news flashback of the um, the Skylab launch from NASA. All right. And then we got the Hank, um, I'm sorry, Hank, Frank Robinson. Um, Robinson's home run in Arlington completes ledger of 32 ballparks. So it's saying he hit a home run in all 32 different ballparks up to that moment in time. So very nice. And I just picked up this um, 20, uh, this is what, 2020 Tops Heritage, the purple uh, Tommy Canley. I think it was 50 cents. We got the Joey Bart in his gear. So, cool. I got this nice Sean Taylor, King of Cards. This is out of 2021 Illusions. And it's, uh, you can see the clear, the acetate. That's very nice. And then I picked up a Chase Young rookie card out of Mosaic. And a really nice... Um, 2021 prism numbered out of 225 uh purple ice whatever beautiful joe theisman that is a gorgeous looking card so i got that i got this 2021 shohei otani tops chrome i think this was like 50 cents it was like in a it was like in a dollar box that was half off so i think for 50 cents i'd buy that every day so that was the modern stuff and then for a few uh, vintage picks, um, just kind of um, nothing I was gunning for anything specific. Um, this was a type of show where I went to and I just, if it struck my eye, I picked it up. Um, and I keep things in mind in my collections, but I wasn't with, there with lists or anything like that. So I just thought this was a nice card. This is 1959 um, Hank Sauer. I did, don't. Forget the prices at the top. I did not pay those prices. So a nice Hank Sauer, you know, really good solid ball player, you know, maybe, I don't want to say borderline Hall of Famer, but a really solid, solid player that really probably doesn't get any kind of recognition in the hobby at all. Um, but check out his career. He had a pretty, pretty fairly, fairly decent career. So Hank Sauer. I got this beautiful 1969 Charlie Taylor for the Redskins PC. And my birth year, so that's cool. And I got same, uh, this 1969 Jerry Smith for the Redskins PC. And then now we get into some of the PC stuff. Um, got this beautiful 59 tops Dutch daughter, right, in the... Uh, in the catcher's gear. So that's a cool one. That's a really nice card. I like that. And then we get into the funny stuff. Um, actually, before we get to the funny stuff, we'll do one more uh, quirky PC. It's 1960 tops Harry Simpson. And he is in front of the cage. So I really like when I find the vintage cards that, that, that fit into my... Uh, that fit into my um, my weird... No, nah, whatever PCs. I like my different types of... PC, so that's a cool one because the cage is really featured in that card, and the sixty tops is just a really, um, just a really cool looking set. Then we get into you know the typical hitman stuff. We got the nineteen sixty Woody Held. Have to get Woody Held, right? And we got the nineteen fifty eight Woody Held, the beautiful nineteen fifty eight tops design. Colorful, very colorful. Tops did some really colorful sets after the 57 set, which was not very colorful. Um, some very cool cards in that 57 set, but they didn't really use a lot of color. And then in 58 and 59, they just blew it out, man. Really, the next three or four years, they used a lot of color. And obviously, in 1960, they did too. Got Dick Hyde. The 1960 Dick Hyde. We got the 1959 Dick Hyde. He looks really thrilled to be in that photograph. And then for my, um, what I call my family tree PC, 
I picked up this nice 1960 Ray Boone. You know, three generation family in baseball, Ray, Bob, and then the sons, Aaron and Brett, right? So that goes into my family tree PC. And that's it guys. That's all I got. So again, um, it was awesome getting to meet Orlando and hang out with him for a bit. Um, there's actually a show here on my side of the state, uh, the Gulf Coast side on the 21st. And I, um, I hit Orlando up to see if he wanted to come and we're going to discuss and he might drive over and go to that show with me in Fort Myers. So that would be very cool. Get him to uh, you know a show he hasn't been to before. All right, that's all I got. And I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their weekend, what's left of it. And I um, hope everybody's enjoying their collections and having fun with them and um, getting some cool stuff. So I'm going to take off, enjoy the rest of my day, and tell you guys, may the cardboard God shine upon each and every one of you. And I will see you at the next video. Take care of yourselves. And um, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be the one today. Later, guys. Take care.